Hello YouTube friends. Uh, this is probably just a part of a series of uh, on this uh, VVT solenoid spool. Here's the one that's off of it right here. I've taken it off already. I wanted to show you, uh, I've got another video, or I intend to have another video that shows the uh, removal. Real quickly I'll just show you. I, I took these these three uh, uh, connectors to the coil packs loose here and I removed uh, this connector that goes to the solenoid to the blue blue part there uh, and then there's this one that goes on the solenoid too on the top so I took all those loose I did it a little differently than most people now this rail this black rail right here is bolted along here and it's bolted under there with two 10 millimeter, uh, two screws with 10 millimeter heads, two nuts, uh, bolts with 10 millimeter. And that goes up along here. So instead of taking this completely loose like a lot of people do, I just loosened it. I took this bolt out down here at the bottom. Uh, you can see it now. The, uh, uh, that right there, which was this bolt here. It's a uh, 14 millimeter or 9 sixteenths, whichever you use. Um, so I lifted this up enough, and uh, these little tabs uh, hold it down. This one and uh, this one, and just be gentle with that. Uh, you kind of push those down, and then put a put a screwdriver. In there and let them out till they till they release and then slide that off of the catches that's on this metal rail holder. But what I, what I really wanted to show you was this um, because I had questions in my mind after watching the other videos. I wanted to know uh, whether it was a gasket or an O-ring or what, and how it how it sealed together. All right, so this. Uh, this is the O-ring gasket, I'm going to call it, still stuck to the top part of the uh, assembly. Uh, my understanding is when you first pull these off, that O-ring gasket usually stays down in there. And they get, I guess they get old and shrink. Uh, this one's broken. Uh, let me change my camera here. This one's broken right here and right here. I don't know if it was broken when the shop took it apart or it was probably already broken and, or at least shriveled, shrunk up and leaking because it was leaking. So the answer to my question is somebody said, well, just put a gasket sealer on it. Well, that's not really a surface. If you look how thin uh, that out, outside edge, it's only made for the O-ring to seal, not... Uh, the metal plate flat to flat. I don't know if you can pick it up in the video, but this outside edge right here is so thin, there's nothing that seals that. This, as this O-ring sits in this O-ring gasket, sits in these grooves, then this metal plate right here is gonna uh, seal against the O-ring. Now I'm considering what it's going to take to get this seal back up. I know this is not going to work with a crack, but uh, I was worried about this this uh, this surface being damaged or corroded or whatever, but from what I can tell the little grooves are good that holds the O-rings, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, so I'm thinking if I get a good, new good gasket uh, and get this clean, really cleaned off real good, that it'll probably probably uh, seal. Now there's another gasket on the other side of this O-ring. Haven't taken uh, this plate. Haven't taken that apart yet, but I'm quite sure the mechanic did uh, before I told him to put it back together and let me come pick it up. Of course, on the way home, I lost about a quart of oil. 
because it was leaking even worse than it was when I took it in. And that's not their fault either. So, okay. So, anyway, that's where I am at now, and I'll let you know the solution uh, in another video. Just hope this other uh, angle and view might help a little bit. Might help you understand the system there. All right. YouTube, uh, hit like and subscribe. I'll try to post more informative videos when I can. Thank you.